What's up, guys? Welcome back to King Kraken Sports. Mike here, and today I'm doing a DeMarcus Cousins video. Now, yes, it's Wednesday when I'm filming this, and uh, the trade happened on Sunday night, but I've now had a couple of days to sit and digest and think about what exactly to make of this trade. I mean, we don't often see a superstar traded for literally nothing. When you think about the last, the last time I can think of a, of a superstar being traded from uh, you know for like ten cents on the dollar was the Vince Carter trade back in two thousand and four when the Raptors traded him for Eric Williams, Aaron Williams, Alonzo Mourning, who never played for us here, and a first round pick that either ended up as Charlie Villanueva or Joey Graham. It doesn't really matter who it ended up as; they, they were shit too. Cousins was traded for Langston Galloway, who I didn't know was still in the league. I thought he was just a 10-day contract guy last year. Uh, shows how important Langston Galloway is to an NBA team. Tyreek Evans, who had a Rookie of the Year campaign and then has followed that up by not really being anything special whatsoever. And Buddy Heald, the Pelicans' first-round pick, who is a three-point shooter that is not shooting the ball well. He's shooting 39% from the field. From the field, not from three. From the fucking field. <clears throat> as well as a top uh, top three protected pick. So if this doesn't work for New Orleans, New Orleans may still be able to keep their pick. Yeah, genius job, uh, uh, Sacramento. Now, yes, the Kings are really fucking stupid for making this trade. Yes, uh, Boogie was trying to get out, but in the media he was saying he loved Sacramento. And da, 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 da. I think he, he genuinely liked being in Sacramento. I think he just hated the fact that his front office was fucking retards and surrounded him with washed-up has-beens and you know, drafted a whole bunch of centers. In the last two drafts, they've drafted three centers. Willie Cauley-Stein, Pop... I'm not even, the, the Greek guy this year, I'm not even going to attempt to butcher his name. Also, I don't remember it. And Scalabissier. Not to mention, two drafts before that, Nick Stoskis, then traded him the next year. Uh, ben McLemore is shit. Um, and, and they're drafting these guys ahead of actual NBA talent, too. Like, Devin Booker could be on, you know, could be on the, on the Kings right now. De Devin Booker could be on the Kings right now, and he's killing it. Um, you know, they could have had Damian Lillard, uh, one year. I don't remember who they drafted ahead of him, but, you know, they could have had Damian Lillard. They don't. Um, I, I, I want to remind everyone that at one point, that the Kings had DeMarcus Cousins, Hassan Whiteside, and Isaiah Thomas on the same team. Now, yes, Hassan Whiteside was released and then went over to uh, went overseas and refined his game there, and then came back and turned out to be an absolute monster. But hey, think if they actually put some fucking effort in, they could have Boogie play the four, Hassan Whiteside at the five, and have Isaiah Thomas, uh, you know, at at the one. Now, granted, Isaiah Thomas and Demarcus Cousins fucking hate each other, which is why the Boston trade would never make any sense. Isaiah Thomas was traded because DeMarcus Cousins didn't like him. So I knew that the Boston trade was never going to happen because that would mean that DeMarcus would have to try to get along with Isaiah again and it wouldn't happen. But I want to go through some of the other teams that, uh, that Sacramento almost traded him to. Uh, one that came up was the Toronto Raptors, my team. And... You know, we were rumored to be offering, like, Terrence Ross before the Ibaka trade. Terrence Ross, uh, Jonas Valanciunas, which would have really made my mom the most sad person in in Toronto because he's my mom's favorite player. Norman Powell and Picks. That would have been a hell of a lot of a better deal for Sacramento to start their rebuild with than Buddy Heald. But... And another thing, and another thing that that drives me absolutely fucking crazy about this this trade, is that Vladi Divac 
said in an interview that he had a better deal on the on the table two days ago or two days before the trade, and he didn't take it. He didn't take it, and he said he he settled for the other trade. Well, if the other deal is still on the fucking table, why the fuck didn't you take it? You're the GM. You have the final say in everything. It's your fucking roster that you're taking care of, and you say that you leave a better deal on the trail, uh, you know, on the table, so you can settle for Buddy Heald. What the fuck is that about? The 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 Kings have become the Cleveland Browns of, of the of the NBA with ridiculous fucking you know uh, roster moves. They fire a coach pretty much every year. Another thing. DeMarcus was in uh, Sacramento for seven years. They have fired five head coaches in that time. Five head coaches in seven years. Including the coach that, the and the only coach that DeMarcus has ever respected in Mike Malone because they went on a losing streak when DeMarcus was out with an illness. I, I, I can't get on board with whatever Sacramento's doing but at the same time, at the same time, buyer beware for the Pelicans. DeMarcus has been labeled as a locker room cancer. He's very out there. He gets in people's faces. Uh, apparently, very few people who actually are teammates of DeMarcus Cousins like him whatsoever. And that can be very tough. That can be very tough, uh, especially for a team fighting for a playoff spot to bring in a brand new superstar who's going to want more attention, and honestly, I think at this point, DeMarcus just wants to win, and I think pairing him with Anthony Davis can help the Pelicans get into the playoffs, and hey, if they end up facing the Warriors, that's going to be amazing. (coughs) Excuse me. But at the end of the day, I'm not really sure who wins this trade, because so much can go wrong for the Pelicans, and there's no fucking way that that the uh, that the Kings won this trade. <laughs> I just think it's funny that Demarcus Cousins, someone who's never been to the NBA playoffs, gets traded to a team that is in a worse position record-wise than the team he was just traded from, and similarly has another star player that is surrounded by scrubs. That's going to do it for today, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm out of here. See you next time.